Thank you, Nicholas. Trine University is gearing up for its first hockey season. Today, school officials unveiled the Thunder Ice Arena, where the men's and women's teams will play. And News Channel 15's Angelica Robinson was there when the doors opened, and she has much more now from Angola. Hey guys, it's not open to the public just yet, but the university officials gave us a sneak peek inside. They say it'll be an asset not only to the university, but also the community. In just a few short weeks, this rink will be home to Trine University's men and women's hockey teams. From hockey fans to non-hockey fans, I think everybody will come. University leaders revealed their vision for the Thunder Ice Arena last spring. Now it's become reality. Seems like everything is coming finally together with all the recruiting, the classes starting. Tom Hoffman will head the women's hockey team. It'll be the first intercollegiate program in the state. And I think we've got the right mix of kids, kids who are excited to be at Trine University first and foremost, as well as we've got kids who are excited about building a program. Hoffman and men's hockey coach Alex Todd have spent the last year recruiting students to build a top-of-the-line program. With this type of facility, uh, you can tell the type of program that we want to build. It's more than 40,000 square feet with room for about 1,500 fans. Varsity locker rooms are decked out with four flat-screen TVs. And then there's the hospitality room, a place for VIP guests. And inside the hospitality room, all of the tables and chairs are made from hockey sticks that have been recycled. The public can rent the facility for special occasions like birthdays, and more than 300 skates will be available for rent. They'll also host programs like Learn to Skate and Youth League Hockey. So we start from the youth to our collegiate players all the way into adult programs and open skate and activities for our community as well. The new arena is set to open to the public on September 5th. For now, reporting at Trine University, Angelica Robinson, News Channel 15.